On World Malaria Day, dignitaries like Princess Astrid of Belgium bring attention to a disease that targets children and pregnant women. Researchers have identified a possible vaccine that has proven to be partially effective against the disease for up to four years. They say even a partially effective vaccine could prevent a large number of infections, especially in areas of high transmission. Funding for malaria has increased over the past decade, and the results are seen in both research and the number of lives being saved. The World Health Organization says malaria deaths have been cut by nearly 50 percent worldwide, and by even more in sub-Saharan Africa. Fewer African children are getting malaria than ever before. New testing has also had an impact on reducing the number of deaths. Results are available within 15 minutes, and life-saving treatment can begin. Many countries are now focusing on eliminating the disease for the first time in history, according to Rollback Malaria, the program that coordinates the international anti-malaria effort. Making bed nets available that prevent bites from the mosquitoes that carry the parasite have made a difference. But still, we're short of 50 percent of the resources required for the global fight against malaria. Dr. Fatumata Nafo Traore heads the Rollback Malaria Partnership. Like most people working to eradicate malaria, she's concerned that mosquitoes are developing resistance to the most commonly used insecticides in Africa. Along the Thai-Cambodian border and in Myanmar near the border with India, the parasite that causes malaria is developing resistance to the main anti-malarial drug, artemisinin. This development threatens efforts to control and eradicate malaria. Ending malaria requires funding from the international community and cooperation with neighboring countries where malaria is endemic. Dr. William Moss of the Johns Hopkins Malaria Research Institute emphasized this in a phone call to VOA from Lumbumbashi. If it's not uh, all done together, um, the success and gains in a particular country can be undermined by the importation of malaria from their neighbors. But malaria still kills more than half a million people a year, mostly young children. Experts say ending it requires controlling the mosquitoes, developing better medicines, and ultimately developing an effective vaccine. Carol Pearson, VOA News. Washington.